Hey there, sewing friends. Cherie here from Cherie's Alchemy, and I'm back today with a pattern review. So, um, gosh, let me think. Was it November? I think November over on Instagram, the um, Sew Your View Challenge uh, pattern of the month was the Mood Fabric uh, Sewing Society's Citrus Dress. The Citrus Dress is a free pattern on the Mood Fabrics website. And uh, yeah, a lot of us sewists over on Instagram sewed the dress up in various fabrics and lots of people did lots of fun hacks. And um, I almost didn't participate because I don't normally wear bodycon dresses. And I don't know, there were a couple details on the dress. First of all, I, like the neck, I don't know, just to have things fitted like all the way down. I don't usually uh, wear that. Um, but I don't know. I kept seeing people's bakes on Instagram and I saw some people with some curves and I'm like, that looks really good on them. So literally like I think three or four days before the um, challenge ended, I decided to whip up the dress. I used this red knit fabric that I got from fabricmartfabrics.com and because I still wasn't sure if I would you know wear a fitted turtleneck bodycon dress I decided that I wanted to have a topper and so I just decided to search Mood's um, website for cardigans and a cardigan popped up and it's funny because when I first saw the pattern um, I think actually, I think what I saw was a cardigan where it was like a hack where they had used like part of one cardigan and the sleeves of another dress. And so then somewhere down there in the links, I saw the original cardigan and I'm like, that's going to be my topper for the citrus dress. And so I ended up whipping up both the citrus dress and this topper in this red knit fabric from Fabric Smart Fabric. And the thing that got me from the original pattern was this arm detail, the sleeve detail. I just thought that this was just so cute and see it's like, you know, you can kind of see that it's the body con, but it just gives me the coverage that, you know, I like to have. Also because I should say the citrus dress has short sleeves. And so I'm feeling like, you know, for me to have a turtleneck, it's going to be cold, right? And so... I need something on my arms too. So that was another reason why I wanted the topper. But I have to say, I really um, enjoy this whole ensemble. And since then I've made the citrus dress again in black, but I made a scoop neck. I'll pop a picture right here of my black dress. And I've actually worn that black dress in several of my previous videos with some of these toppers on. So again, this is the citrus dress the original pattern. Um, the only detail I left off is it had a little planket that went straight down the front and it had buttons. So it looked like, it looked like, you know, the dress buttoned up, but it was just a faux button planket. At the end, I decided to leave that off um, because like I said, I was doing the topper. And then um, let me put a picture right here to show you what the full view of the outfit looks like on my mannequin with the red dress and the red topper, okay? So, love, love, love this topper. I made this red topper and I knew I needed to make this in more colors. This is just my go-to uh, cardigan pattern now. So you've seen me, if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen me in this animal print one Again, love the sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a picture here um, of the animal print one. I think I've recorded a video also wearing this one. Let me come close so you can see this lovely knit fabric. You see the awesome sleeve again. This one, this um, fabric was a stretch knit that I also got on fabricmartfabric.com, just like this one. 
Did I tell you? I think I told you. This is from fabric.com. I think I told you that. Very cute. And then the final one I made was just a basic black one. And I made that to wear with the black citrus dress that I made. So here it is just in a black Ponte knit. See? This fabric is also from fabricsmartfabric.com. And when I tell you, so what you have in the pattern piece, you have two pieces for your sleeve. You have to cut two of the fronts. You cut the back on the fold. And then you cut this long band in two pieces that are seen together at the center back neck. And then it's folded in half and just attached all along the perimeter of the front and back um, outer edges. And you hem it. That's it. So it's super simple. I have to say on the Mood Fabrics website, I, I kind of browse the directions and then, I mean, I could look at it and tell how it needed to go together. And I remember going back looking at the Mood directions because I felt like as I was sewing it, it looked a little bit different um, what I remembered from the um, the pattern on the site. And I think they sewed it together a little bit differently than I did. I can't remember. The only thing that um, I did find is that for this red one, when I first made it, this band was too short. It was shorter than the perimeter. So this red one is shorter than it was meant to be because then I had to cut off the rest of the body to uh, match up with that shortness. And then for the other three, I knew that. And so I added on, I think an inch and a half um, to each side of the band to accommodate that. And I don't know if that was just a printing error on my part or not. So I will recommend if you do make this, just take a me tape measure and go all the way from one bottom edge you know, all the way up around down to the other bottom edge, get that measurement and see if it corresponds to your band. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and cut the extra uh, length that you need for that. So anyway, yeah, that is uh, the topper that everyone seems to love. I have to say, I didn't see a lot of them on Instagram. Um, when I first shared it, I'll put a link in the description box to um, my a few of my posts where I share various uh, ones of these. And then um, the other thing I should mention, I didn't tell you the name of the cardigan. It's called the Willow Cardigan. And so, yeah, you can search hashtag Willow Cardigan to look for the various makes um, that are on Instagram. I haven't searched here on YouTube to see if anyone has reviewed the pattern, but I'm thinking that this would be a nice, simple pattern to do a sew along for. So this pattern is available on the Mood website, like I said, for free, and it's a downloadable PDF. So what I could do if there's interest is go through the whole step of how to download the PDF, printing the PDF, taping everything together, figuring out your size, and then sewing it together. So if you would like to see that sew along, let me know in the comments. I don't know if this is too simple a thing for you guys. Like, I don't know, you know, do you want to see really simple things? Do you want to see, you know, more difficult things for me to start out with? But I thought, again, this is like a universally flattering cardigan. And so I thought, we all need to have this in our wardrobes. <laughs> like It's just, it's so good. And so, yeah, if you think that you'd like to make this, um, I could also do the citrus dress, but again, the citrus dress is also super easy, right? You have the dress front cut on the fold. The back is actually cut with a seam. And that's when I realized that this dress would probably work for me because um, the seam actually gives the curve for the rear end. 
I do think the next time I make it though, I'm going to cut mine on the fold and just put princess seams in the back. Um, because I don't like, I don't always like having a seam straight down my back. Um, so anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but anyway, if you'd also like to have a sew along for the citrus dress, um, we could do it together and we could, you know, I could show you how I modified the neckline to make it a scoop neck. Um, I did that so that I could wear it all year long, especially since it had short sleeves. Um, yeah, I can show you how to lengthen the sleeve. This is also, um, you could very easily make this sleeveless as well. So let me know in the comments below if that would interest you at all. And I will definitely put that, you know, on my list uh, to get a sewing log together soon for that. But again, um, I'll put the link to the Willow Cardigan um, over at Mood in the description box. I'll put the links to my Instagram post where I shared it. I'm going to put pictures here, and you may have been seeing them throughout this video, of just the pictures that I took of the different cardigans on my mannequin. And um, I think that's it. I just wanted to get here and share um, because I know you guys have been wondering what this topper is. And I just, you can see, I made it four times, like within, I think the last one I made was in January. So I made four of them within a couple months. And I'm going to make a few more of these, honestly. I have some more fabrics. Um, this is that coat, like that cardigan. I mean, you put it on just to run to the store, run errands, and it just totally elevates your whole look, right? I have a sweater knit that I got in. That's going to be the next one because I thought what I really would love if I had a cable knit sweater knit, but I, I used, I used what I had of that and I've been having trouble finding more online. I think that would be great. Um, but I have, um, another knit fabric, another sweater knit that, um, I do have in my stash that I think is going to be the next one. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know which one is your favorite. I have to say for me, I mean, I love the red because red is like my favorite color, but I feel like the black is just, it's so lame of me to say the black. This is my favorite because red is my favorite. This is my favorite one, okay? And I'll show some pictures at the end. I've styled this, um, I've styled some other outfits, some other recent makes, with this cardigan, I'll put those pictures uh, in the video as well. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to share with you all. I hope you like this Willow Cardigan uh, pattern review. Let me know if you wanna make one. Let me know if you wanna do a sew along. Let me know your thoughts about the citrus dress. Have you used any of the mood uh, fabric patterns yet? They're free. Um, again, we can have a conversation about PDF patterns. Let's just talk in the uh, comments below. All right, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to share my channel uh, with any of your friends that are also into sewing, quilting, making, um, and I'll see you guys back here again soon, okay? Thanks for watching, bye-bye.